Um, so I've always been passionate about the idea of sustainability. Um, uh, you know, we've all heard of work-life balance, but the reality is it's very hard for people and it starts with the leader modeling it. Um, we've probably all worked for different types of people and we've probably all been different types of people ourselves at different points. Like Michael said, it's, you have to know who you are. Um, and so I, I think that's, that's perfect for creating pace is start now, uh, put boundaries around your time um, and then help your team do the same thing because we can all do most anything for a week, a few weeks or even a month, but beyond that, something breaks. Us, our team, volunteers, or physical, you know, things. If we don't, if we don't create uh, room and margins to take care of stuff, and then, um, you know, the the part about honoring the past, I, you know, the the little thing that I had I had written down to to think about with this part was the to keep in mind as we're relaunching things of what does need to stay, um, because we can't change everything all at once. And again, at least for us here, um, this this was a time where we were able to kind of let things um, sit for a bit before we reopened with everything. And that that does give you a chance to to look around and think, huh, these pictures have been on the wall for a while. And that's, you know, uh, <laughs> figurative and, and literally, and maybe it's time for some new photos on the wall or new paint on the wall that you didn't have time to step back and look at before. So, but again, my caution is as, as we change things, just to be aware of how much we're changing and how fast, because it doesn't mean that it can't change, but maybe it's changing that next month and then in a year and then in two years and and that's okay because you know what we'll get the next year pretty quickly 